You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County, Monday through Wednesday at 10 a.m. and Thursday at 11 a.m. Southern living at its best. Hey, 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 all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett land. Listen, I know I sound crazy right now, but I feel just as bad. Trust me when I tell you that. So I had a beautiful week last week, right? Beautiful week. We had a wonderful meetup last week. And I'm going to tell you all about that. Our podcast posse meetup. That was great. Then it was Valentine's Day. And then right after that, it started to go downhill. I started to get sick, but I'm not complaining. I had to come here and say good morning to all my peeps out there in Gwinnett land. Listen, guys, it's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County right now. It's 42 degrees, going up to a high about 59, so it's going to be still pretty nice. I've been in the bed for the last two and a half days because I felt terrible, and I still feel terrible. So this is going to be a, a relatively short show, but I wanted to come out and say good morning to you. Happy President's Day. Today is President's Day. It's also um, National Cabbage Day. Like, I have no idea what National Cabbage Day is. But anyway, I did my meetup last Wednesday. You know, we got the podcast posse meetup that we do once a month, and we do the pod chicks meetup. And now we got the noisemakers meetup. So we all kind of just come together and we talk podcasts. And I got to tell you, one of the things that most everybody that come through that door talk about is how do they make money with podcasts. And it's so funny because I'll be like, first you need to launch a podcast. That's the first thing you need to do. But I'm really excited about a company that I just recently found out about called Podcoin, right? And so because I talk to so many people and they're always asking me about, you know, well, how do I make money with my, with my podcast? I was happy to announce that, you know what, you make money with your podcast through a company called Podcoin. So last Sunday, Last Sunday night, I um not not this past Sunday because I was sick in the bed all week. But last Sunday night, I was um something said look at Podcorn because you got a few minutes. So it was around about ten o'clock at night, and I actually started going through the Podcorn website. And um when I went through the website, there were some really interesting um people on there who were looking to um sponsor their have their podcast uh, be sponsored. And I was like, this is really cool. So I started putting in my little proposal for a whole bunch of them, and I got a bite. So I was happy to announce yesterday. Because I have my pod chicks community as well, and we do a call once a month um, on the telephone and uh, via Zoom. And um, I was happy to announce yesterday. So listen, guys, I just found out about this company called Podcoin. So you guys are always asking me, you know, how do I make money with my podcast? This is a great opportunity for you to check it out. So um, Podcoin is a great way for you to get some revenue coming into your business. I got my first Podcoin gig, and I was like, Yay! Who ready for me? And I, I remember I was sitting in a meeting as a matter fact and when I got the email said Joe your offer has been accepted I was like what and so the person next to me was like what happened now she has a podcast too on my network and she said what happened I said girl I just got I just got an offer my offer just got accepted through Podcoin so that's really exciting so I will be talking Podcoin up because I just love what they're doing I I think it's wonderful that that they're giving podcasters the opportunity to to, to monetize their podcast so early on. And so I was excited about that. So if you want more information about how to monetize your podcast, and I know there are a lot of you out there who listen to me and even more will be listening to me when I speak at PodFest next month. I'm excited about that. So I got to get my health together. But anyway, if you want more information about how to monetize your podcast, check out PodCorn. So you know how you say popcorn? It's Pod corn.com podcorn.com all right so let's get on with the show today is president's day also national cabbage day i want to give a, a happy anniversary shout out to james and bertha smith happy anniversary i want to give a birthday shout out to my cousin amethia deline green happy birthday cuz it's your birthday happy birthday got a lot going on y'all and i'm um i am very uh my throat is very sore i have been sucking on uh uh cough drops and taking cough medicine and drinking emergency C and just all kinds of stuff. Just trying to get right. Because here's the thing. I got my grand opening, my my ribbon cutting ceremony this Wednesday. So I got to get right. I got a, I got a guest tomorrow on the show. Um, Mr. Curtis Thomas, he's running for the commissioner of Gwinnett County. So he's on the show live tomorrow. I just got a lot going on. So I got to get well. So I got to, I got to kind of rest my voice. But before I do that, I got to go ahead and, um, give you some news you can use. But before I do that, let's go ahead to the horoscopes brought to you by no Astrologer Michael Dyson, and today is January the 17th, 
I mean, January, February the 17th. I'm, I'm, I'm taking you back a whole month. February 17th, I'm going to kick it off like we always do, and that's with Aries. Um, a little overtime may help you reduce your workload. Concentrate on spending quality time with children. You may be, be confused emotionally. Okay. Make a little overtime to reduce the, the workload. Whatever you got to do to, to live a happy and healthy life, Aries, do that. Taurus, it's time to clear your decks, so smile. Avoid any confrontations with colleagues. Listen, don't get into it with your colleagues. You got to work with these people every day. So at any cost, avoid confrontations today, Taurus. It's not a day to be having arguments with your colleagues. Gemini, limitations on the home front can be expected if you have been restricting your mate's freedom. Be prepared to jump quickly if you wish to stay in the forefront of your industry today. You can make changes to your home that will be pleasing to all concerned. Listen, I, I tell you right now, I was at Microsoft last week um, because, you know, I got this this uh, tech startup that I'm tech startup incubator for women that I'm launching. And I was over at Microsoft last week because, you know, if I'm launching a tech incubator, I need to be in the I need to be in the room with the big dogs. So I was over at Microsoft headquarters and um. Let me tell you, there's a lot going on in the in the AI space, and I will talk about that on another show because I'm I'm having a hot moment right now. Like I've been having like chills, hot cold, hot cold. That's what I'm having. I'm having one right now, but I'll talk about that later on this week or next week when I feel better. But you always want to be on the forefront of your industry, no matter what you're doing. You want to stay on the forefront of your industry. Um, cancer, don't take offense to comments made by coworkers. This is so funny. I just had this conversation with my daughter. I mean, literally before I went live. So she was telling me that, you know, someone was saying to her, they was making a comment to her. And she thought, you know, it was getting on her nerve. And I said to her, listen, you don't know how you touch people's lives, right? Like, to me, she was like, well, that person never talks to me. And, they, you know, they were saying something apologetic to her. I said, it doesn't matter if they don't talk to you. Just because people don't talk to you doesn't mean that you don't touch their lives in some kind of positive way. I said, so for you, you obviously touched touch this person for her to say anything to you that was positive. And she's like, well, I ain't think about it like that. You have to always think about the upside. So even though somebody's not talking to you, um, you don't have to take a offense to comment. She's like, yeah, but I just don't trust them. It doesn't matter. Obviously she thought enough for you to say, you know what? I'm sorry about what you're going through right now. And, um, and she said that, you know, and so you must have touched her life in some kind of way. So don't take offense today, cancer, um, at comments made by your coworkers. You may want to take extra special care of your luggage. If you are traveling today, get involved in groups that are creative in nature. Okay. It's always good to be creative. Always good. Leo, you will link you will learn valuable information if you travel today. You can pick up wonderful buys if you really look hard today. Secret affairs may be tempting. Now listen, Leo, you know I say this all the time. If it's a secret, you might not want to do it. Don't be tempted. If it's a secret, don't do it. It's only gonna backfire on you. Virgo, be sure to get involved with those who can introduce you to unusual forms of entertainment. Mm, I don't know what that means, Virgo. Your confidence is growing and advancement is apparent. You can make excellent career moves if you are open to the opportunities that exist. Okay. All right. Listen, I don't know what that unusual form of entertainment is going to be. You watch out for that. All right, listen, I'm going to a song. I'll be, I'll be right back after the song to give you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Nona the Charles and Micah Thyssen. You're listening to the Good Morning Net Show. <laughs>
is how it goes. Opposites attract. Guessing everybody knows. Fire on the floor. Sticking out the door. We're just getting started, lady. Now I really want some more. Girl, you know that there ain't nobody moving like you. You know you got me. I love the things you do. Maybe I'm getting into trouble, but I just wanna be a lover. Cause you're making me feel I love when it feels right It is just one of these nights Love so strong Can't be wrong No, because of you I love when it feels nice To the apple of my eye Love so strong Can't be wrong No, because of you Cause I love it Love when it feels right Oh yeah I love when it feels right Girl, Audrey Bell Kearney giving you the daily horoscopes brought to you by Noda Astrology and Micah Thyssen. We're going to pick it up with Libra. Your leadership qualities will come in handy. Try not to be too aggressive or judgmental when talking to your mate. You won't get the reaction you want from your mate today. <clears throat> That's because you're being judgmental. So don't be judgmental. You want to get the reaction you need? Then try not to be judgmental. That's all I'm saying, Libra. Scorpio, enjoy a quiet dinner for two and discuss um, some of the plans you have for the future. Okay, Scorpio, get deep today. Don't overload your plate. You may have been too agreeable um, to someone who just wanted to use you. Mm, don't let anybody use you either. But talk talk serious. That's Scorpio. Don't overload your plate either. I know I sound terrible, guys. You got to bear with me. I am hot right now. I'm cold. I'm hot. I'm cold. I'm hot. I'm just all of these things right this second. Sagittarius, you will have to make some changes regarding your direction if you wish to keep on top of your career expectations. Don't let others restrict you from saying how you feel about your family issues. You may find that you are a little lucky today. Okay, lady luck is on your side today, Sagittarius. Play the lottery or something. If you're going to be lucky today, go all out. Go big. Play the lottery. You know... Somebody played a um a mega million here in Lawrenceville where I live and they have not turned the ticket in for ten thousand dollars. I bet it was me. I'm terrible. When I tell you I'm terrible when it comes to playing the lottery, I'll play the lottery. I don't know what I do with the tickets. And I said to my husband, That's probably me. So I've been looking. I, I had a stack of tickets somewhere. I don't know where they are. They're somewhere. It's probably my ticket. Right in Lawrence where they played a mega million, they won ten thousand dollars and when I find the ticket and I won, I'm gonna tell you guys, it was me. Because it's probably me. I got to find that ticket, though. Capricorn, plan a day of enjoyment with them. Um, you can have an enjoyable time if you socialize with friends. You have done all you can to sort things out on, pers- on a personal level. Listen, just play and have some fun today. Just You did everything you, done, you could do on a personal level. Go out and have some fun, Capricorn. Aquarius, you can help sort out problems that friends are facing. It's time to reevaluate your own motives and make changes to yourself. First, 
try to get out and socialize. Get out, have some fun, try to socialize. That's good for you sometimes. Okay, Aquarius? And my fellow fish, Pisces, don't let an incident at work play on your mind. You may experience financial loss if you don't use good judgment. Expect temper tantrums on the home front if you haven't been letting someone have their way. Well, I don't hardly let nobody have their way. So if they throw a temper tantrum, they better get out of my way. Especially today because I feel like crap too. You want to throw a temper tantrum, get on out my way. Throw all, all the temper tantrums you want. Get lost. All right, that's all the horoscopes I got for you today. I'll be back again tomorrow to bring you more of the horoscopes at 10 a.m. Brought to you by Nona the Stronger, Mike and Thais. But right now, let's get on to some news use. So, um, Gwinnett Affordable Housing Project proposed for land near the Kula. Okay, so I've been saying the Kula. When I first got down here to Georgia, I said Dacula. And I keep being reminded that it's the Kula. So, in the Kula, um, there's no dispute that Gwinnett County needs more affordable housing, but one proposed project which the county commissioners are slated to vote on this Tuesday begs the question, where is the best place for the units to be built? You know, they got some land still left down here. So um, there's a development company, Indiana Development Company, thinks it's, it's found a great spot. I know exactly where this is. Um, it's on 15 acres near 316 and Winder Highway outside of the Kula. Um Burgeon Health Redevelopment Company has proposed a 168-unit apartment complex geared towards residents who make between $34,349 and $51,560 a year, or 6% of the area's median income. So I know exactly where that is. The land has been zoned for manufactured homes and single-family homes for decades, but rocks near um, Alcove River property make it impossible, make it expensive to redevelop, to develop, said Jared Brown of Burgeon held um his company plans to sell affordable housing tax credits to finance the construction meaning there will be money available to deal with tough terrain so look i know exactly where they because if i come out where i live and i go make a left and go straight down martin chapel road it runs right into that area over there so that's good that's gonna be good there's a there's a huge homeless population um here in Gwinnett county and, and building affordable housing is going to be a way for you for us to um, address that issue and it needs to be addressed i didn't know so many people lived in uh, extended state hotels to earlier to late last year when i did a story about that on the show and then i got a chance to even talk to some people in person so it is really a big deal and so the fact that you got developers who have the you know they can say we're going to develop this land it's a good thing but to read the full story you can go to ajc.com click on counties and go to Gwinnett County and you can read the full story it's a, it's a long story I, I can barely talk this morning so I can't even get into the long story but just know that there is development companies out there trying to address this issue and forgive me y'all I know I'm, I'm snotting all on, on the thing I know I can't I can't breathe <laughs> so you know anyway U.S. Representative Hank Johnson um, will be joined by the Gwinnett County Sheriff's Office, among other law enforcement agencies, to give defenders an opportunity this week to learn how to re-enter society, obtain employment, regain their rights, and avoid return trips to jail. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge. Because a lot of those guys go to jail because they don't know how to make any money, so they do what they know how to do best, you know, slaying. Sling drugs. Um, Johnson announced he will hold a restoration resource fair from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Thursday at the Georgia P. Munt Technical College, which is located at <clears throat> 495 North Indian Creek Drive in Clarkston. The congressman office said the event will include record expungements, opportunities to look for jobs, housing and transportation vouchers, mental and spiritual guidance, and hunger assistance, among other support services for people who have been incarcerated in prison in the past. This is open to everybody. It's not just open to DeKalb County. It's open to everybody. So if you are in Gwinnett County, um, you, you can, um, you could be sure to go check it out. And to the Gwinnett Sheriff's Office, other participating law enforcement agencies include DCAP, Rockdale, and Newton County Sheriff's Offices. Other participating agencies include um, uh, Newton County um, Account Accountability Course in Georgia Department of Corrections and Georgia Labor. So all of these guys are going to be there. It's a, it's a whole bunch of community partners who have said, you know what, we need to get together and work to make this happen, including um, Gwinnett, Salvation Army, the Urban League, Goodwill, Georgia Department of Driver Services, U.S. Citizens, MARTA, Waffle House, UPS. It's just, just to name a few. All these guys are participating to make this happen because here's the thing. They want to help people not have to go back to jail because they find a job. 
and that's important. It really is. And so the fact that they have all come together, so this is not a this is a this is a, a community problem. This is not a Democrat problem. This is not a Republican part problem. This is a community problem. So I applaud them for that. All right, I'm gonna go to a song. I'll be right back after the song to give you more information about what's happening in and around Gwinnett County. Stay tuned. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time, ain't doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time, ain't doing no harm Gonna be all right, gonna be all right. Kearney giving you daily rundown of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So, you know, every Monday we do our mastermind meetup, but I'm not there today, but you guys are free to stop by. Uh, we mastermind at Paradigm um, Work Hub over in Decula, Decula, located at 1862 Arbor Road. We're on the second floor in between City Lines Bar and Grill and Peggy Slappy Realtor. Realty. So, if you want to check it out, Amber is going to be there with the rest of the gang. I'm just not there today because I feel like crap. And I have to go get back in the bed once I get finished doing the show. But check it out. It's a really a great um, a great event. We do it every Monday at 12 o'clock from 12 to 1.30. And it gives you the opportunity to talk about, you know, challenges that you may be facing. You get to talk about wins that you may have going on, questions you may have about certain things. There's a, a, an array of talent that's normally in the room. So you can go check it out. Again, that's from 12 o'clock today. Um, 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. This is going to be a Paradigm Work Hub in Decula, Georgia. 
Um, and that's located at 1862 Auburn Road, um, second floor, suite 118, in between the suite. So the suites are kind of weird, right? We're suite 118, and we sit between City Line, um, Bar and Grill, and Peggy Slappy Realty. And it's weird because I think Peggy Slap is like 113. I think City Bar and Grill is like 115. So I don't know how they managed to put 118 in the middle, but it's in the middle and it's on the second floor. So catch the elevator up. Or if you want to, you know, you want to exercise, you can walk up, walk up the stairs. But anyway, that's 12 o'clock today. Also, if you're looking for more events tonight, there's a Toastmasters meeting today from 6.15 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. And that's um, going to be located at Discovery High School in Lawrenceville, Georgia, located at 1335 Old North Cross Road. And that's a free event. And it's for those people who are looking for ways to um, speak better, speak with confidence, speak with purpose, know how to present better, know how to communicate with family members and colleagues. It's a great opportunity for you to do that. And that's going to be located at the media center. When you enter the main door, look for the media center at your right, the glass walls, enter through the first door, um, walk towards the end of the room, and you will find the club's meeting place. And that's this evening, 6.15 to 7.15 p.m. this evening. On Wednesday, we were doing a ribbon cutting ceremony for Noise Media Network. So I did a soft launch back in January uh, when I launched, but we're going to be actually doing a ribbon cutting ceremony this Wednesday at 12 o'clock. So if you're in the area, if you want to come out, we're going to have food and drinks and just like a good time. After they do the ribbon cutting ceremony, we're just going to have a good time celebrating the, um, the opening, the grand opening the official opening of Noise Media Network, which is my company that I started um, earlier this year. We have the Noise Factory Studio, which is located inside Paradigm Work Hub, located again at 1862 Auburn Road in um, Kula on the second floor, Suite 118, between City Lines Restaurant, Bar and Grill, and Peggy Slappy Realty. I have to say that because people... They won't see 118 because it's 113, 115. It kind of skips over. So I always have to say we're in between City Lines and Peggy Slappy. Like if you if you right in the middle, that's us right there. But anyway, I'm going to be doing, um, we're going to be doing a ribbon cutting ceremony at 12 o'clock. And then we're just going to hang around later to have food. You know, we got um, Jersey Boy Foods, which is my husband catering company, is going to be catering the food for us. Um, so we're going to have good food some good drinks and just good conversation. So you can also use this as a network opportunity to meet myself and to meet the members of my team, to meet Amber who actually owns Paradigm Work Hub and find out about the amazing things that we have going on there. We have trainings coming up. We have um, meetups coming up. We have workshops coming up. We just have a lot. We're going to be doing some filming there for, for um, the Noisemaker TV network which is a part of my company as well. So a lot of great things coming out there, coming out of the, out of Paradigm Work Hub and from Noise Media Network. So I'm excited about that. We have a magazine that's coming out next month called Noise Makers. We have a TV network called Noise Maker TV. We have the podcast network, of course, called no- Noise Podcast Network. And that's for other people who podcast as well to join us on our network. Um, and then every week, the, the Noise Report... Uh, digital newsletter goes out to about 3,000 people, you know, saying what's going on with us in, at Noisemaker and Paradigm and good things like that. So if you are around on Wednesday, 12 o'clock, come out and join us. It's free. There's no charge, food, drinks, network, and all of the good stuff. Um, talk to us. We're going to be probably doing some live videotaping there as well to put on Noisemaker TV. So come through and, and check, we'll check, check us out. Again, that's 1862. Um, Auburn Road in Decula, Decula. <laughs> I'll get used to saying it after a while, Decula, Georgia. And we're in between Peggy Slappy and City Lines and Suite 118 on the second floor. You can catch the elevator up. Now, today is a day, uh, a lot of people are off work today because it is President's Day. So if you're off work in your home and you're just trying to figure out something to do, they are having Texas hold them $100 free roll, 3 p.m., free pool, 7 to 10 p.m., and 55 cents wings, 6 p.m. to close. Yep. If you want to go out and do that, you can go to the twistedtavern.net. They got a whole lot going on for you today. You got 55 cent wings. Everybody like chicken wings. I don't know nobody don't like chicken wings. Everybody like chicken wings. So Texas hold them. $100 free roll, 3 p.m. Free pool from 7 to 10 and 55 cent chicken wings, 6 p.m. to close. Go out and get you some, some wings at Twisted uh Twisted Tavern. So for more information about that, you can go to twistedtavern.net for more information. Go out and have some fun. All right, listen, my throat is starting to itch. 
So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to play my last song and then I'm going to come back and give you my inspiration of the day just so you can lead the day. Um, let the rest of your day be very inspirational. So stay tuned. I'll be right back after this song to give you my inspiration before I close it out. So listen guys it's all i got for you today because i feel terrible but before i go i want to give you a little bit of inspiration <clears throat> and i decided to tell you this a little bit because I, I think i told you earlier i was talking to my daughter and she was saying how you know somebody at her job they don't really even talk to her but they they wished her well and i said to her you just never know you know the energy that you bring to people they may not say anything but you never know so my inspiration of the day is this your smile lights lives let me say that again. Your smile lights lives. You don't know who you touch when you smile. You know, even though people don't say that, you know, hey, how you doing? That doesn't mean you haven't touched their lives in some kind of way. And so obviously she touched this woman's life and she just, she couldn't believe it because the woman doesn't talk to her. Doesn't mean that you don't touch people's lives. You can walk by, I tell people, I'll, I'll walk by anybody and say, you know what? You smell good. If, if they smell good, right? Because you just never know. That could be something that they really needed to hear. Last week, no, a couple of weeks ago, I woke up in my room and, um, Georgette is my, is my producer for this show. She produces this show for me, but she does a lot of other stuff with my company. Just a lot of stuff. And the Lord said to me, tell her you appreciate her. Right. And I was like, okay, it was just weird. So when I got to the studio that day, I was like, Hey, listen, God tell you, I was told to tell you that I appreciate you. And if I don't say it enough, I really do appreciate your, your help and your work. And she was like, you know what? I really needed to hear that. And I was like, wow. But it was like, you just never know, you know, you never know what a smile may do. You never know what words of encouragement may do to someone do for someone. You know what I'm saying? So smile, 
Let, light up somebody's life. Say hello. Tell them they smell good. Tell them you appreciate them. Tell them you appreciate them from being there. You know, you just never know. So that's my, I'm, I know I sound terrible, but that's my inspiration for the day. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. with the guest. I'm going to be talking to Mr. Kurt Thompson. He's working for a commissioner chairman here in Gwinnett County. He has a lot of insight about the things that he wants to do for Gwinnett County. You know, I've been talking to a lot of politicians since early last year about, um, their platforms and what they want to do. Um, so you get a chance to talk to him this week. And I got a couple, a bunch of other ones coming down the pike as well. Um, three commissioners, uh, hopefuls back to back. So be, uh, be on the lookout for those, but tomorrow you'll be able to listen to Kirk at 10 o'clock. Thank you again for listening. You could be anywhere in the world. You spent the last 35 minutes with me and I appreciate you so much. If you missed any episodes of the show, please go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to listen to past episodes. Also feel free to Feel free to support the show there by clicking on the purple button that says support. I appreciate that so much. Also, pick up a Gwinnett t-shirt there. A Good Morning Gwinnett t-shirt. Rep your zip code. I think that's pretty cool. Um, again, thank you for listening. Follow me on Instagram at Good Morning Gwinnett. Follow me on Facebook at Facebook at Good Morning Gwinnett. And you can follow me on Twitter at GM Gwinnett. I'll be back again tomorrow, God willing. Until next time, y'all. Make it a great day. Bye now. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you missed an episode, go to www.goodmorninggwinnett.com to catch up. If you liked this episode, subscribe to the show now and share it with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit www.noisemedia.us.